What's up guys, hope everyone is doing well. In today's video I'm just going to be going over updates for Bitcoin, the New York Stock Exchange, and then also the handful of altcoins that I've been going over recently. But the main update right here, we're going to start off on this weekly chart. Again, according to the context that I look at Bitcoin in, with my current theory on the way its cycle structure is, and I'll have, if you're not familiar with my content, first card link to beginning this video will have me more elaborately going over that but what we are in right now is currently phase one of cycle three which encompasses this double bottom leading into the March crash which then leads into this top towards 64,000 this makes a W pattern we then get this bear market up to the next high and then at the end of the day we have one all the way to a five wave up here which is essentially like I mentioned it's a bullish 5-0 pattern if you look at it in terms of harmonic patterns right here what could be seen as an a b c d pattern leading up to that last high or a lightning bolt pattern as i typically like to call it but outside of that again tying that back into market structural integrity which it's not on this chart but going back the previous time we saw this phase of the cycle is back here just to quickly go over it was seeing this W right here leading into this upwards build up and then we see this ABC lightning bolt pattern towards the upside Again, right here so we're gonna be leading into that build up phase which is what lines up right here um, I find it obviously I don't believe it's coincidental at all that this upwards thrust is currently also getting rejected right here along this lowermost black trend line right here according to this yellow bubble um, so if we do get majorly rejected here I don't believe we'll go any lower than our current lowest lows that I mentioned in my previous video with respect to the bear trap if it plays out similar to the 2014 to 2015 bear market but assuming we continue to go from here and this quickly to go to this four hour chart we just drop down to somewhere around let's see first off right here around 20 pretty much 22,000 then down to as low as 21 to 21.5 thousand which would line up with this area back here finding support just along where these lows were or we could continue to find support where we are currently right here at around 22.6 with the with respect to the most recent sideways consolidation we've been building up and then continue to move towards the upside which would line up with in general i think 28 to 32 thousand is the next range that it's going to go to assuming the price does go towards the upside from here which lines up with this turquoise blue box that we see right here you can tell that it is very major major i mean we got support right here support right here uh rough approximate support right here and this is right essentially this, this is the range that we finally got rejected at and got this major rejection towards this bear market um ranging low that we've been setting for the last um about like nine or so months at this point so this is a major area of confluence when it comes to a point of con uh, um, price resistance likely if we don't end up going up to as high as 30 to 32,000 with this next move upwards um, these lower time frame charts are pointing more towards this next leg up kind of just slowly moving up more towards around 27 28,000 which lines up and will end up lining up roughly with hitting the top of this purple band which could also just be um, just as likely as going and pretty much getting rejected from this upper trend line right here which lines up with this right here rejection before the March crash and this again this upwards movement that we will be seeing assuming we continue to go from here is going to exactly line up with this right here which again should be what we uh, will be seeing given the market structure that I've been pointing out we'll see self similarity from March 2020 to the 64,000 high then likely see a retracement and then see some sort of double top leading into the next um, phase of this current cycle three that we're in but right now going back to this lower time frame chart right here 
If Bitcoin starts to significantly break through around 22.6, 22.7 at this point with volume support strength, then it likely will continue to go down lower to around 22,000, maybe meet this 200 EMA. So this white moving average more at around 21.5 thousand, which is I have been mentioning going back to this chart right here. Let's, let's go to this higher time frame one. So again, this daily, this is the most major resistance line right here. Again, we'll zoom in. It's the same exact dotted or dashed black line here on this four hour chart. We could likely come down and test this. Um, given we have just recently broken out of it, which is, this is the final resistance trend line we could possibly break out above in order to start confirming at least a relief rally or what I think is the next bull market, which again, this black trend line right here that I'm talking about is with respect to 69 to 48,000. So the two major uh, rejection points we've seen in this bear market so far. Um, so we could end up coming down just to those levels or worst case scenario. Again, like I said, we come down, we hit 20, down to even as low as 19,000, just about, which lines up with when we finally broke this 800 EMA on this four hour chart. Um, if we do come down that low, I'd likely believe it'd just be some quick and fast wicks. I personally don't think that's the most likely right now. If we do actually end up seeing that, then that might, it's definitely gonna put more statistical probability on the bear trap, um, which again, like I said, will likely only take us down to as low as our previous lows at around 16,000, maybe just a tad bit lower, below 15, the 15.6.5 thousand at the absolute lowest we've set so far. But the other thing that I wanted to go over, um, which I don't believe that I've already gone over it. Um, this is like the third time I'm recording this, so I kind of, I'm getting a little mixed up here. But anyways, what I want to point out is each time, each bear market bottom going all the way back to the most uh, viable one you can choose, which would be the 14 to 15, because you can't do it to the 11 to 2012 bottom because it wasn't for Bitcoin wasn't further enough in its maturity to have enough length in its bear market to point out what I'm trying to point out. But you can see here, so once we lost this moving average band, so this pink one right here, we came down, set our first low on this negative 2x daily moving average, which is this light green one right here. We moved up, made an M pattern, pretty much snaking along our turquoise one right here. So this negative 1.618 found our second bottom right here. So far we have gotten relief go back to 2018 2019 we'll see the exact same thing as well lose our moving average band come down and bottom out first on the pastel green move up to the 1.618 turquoise sit around it for a little bit basically set a double bottom and finally start to move towards the upside for the upcoming bull market and then once going back to this last one so we lose our band come down and on this chart it actually has it going down to this one if you go to the index chart didn't actually go this low. But again, you can see that we most predominantly met this one right here. So this is a negative 2x DMA. Moved back up and essentially just started to right here, bottom out along this 1.618. You can see on here that we set this massive M with a W in between it. Essentially, this is just a form of double bottom. Um, you can see there's kind of clearly almost four bottoms right here, but you can clearly see that these to right here with the major lows with respect to this low range that we set back here. So essentially we're seeing the same thing. Um, it's most comparable to compare this one because we see this downside and we see an M then break towards the upside. We even see the W right here. Let me go ahead and take that off. We see this W in between this M right here as well. So very, very similar price structure wise. These two, as again, I've already mentioned in the past, are just very similar anyways. So hopefully we'll continue to straddle up here, as I did mention. Um, that was the last thing I wanted to talk on for Bitcoin. Here for the New York Stock Exchange on this four hour chart, we've continued to see rejection here, which is a good thing to see. Right now we want to see it start to go below 15.6 thousand. And then after that, around 15.4 to 15 thousand will be the next milestone to get rejected even lower. The reason why I'm talking about the stock market in general going lower is because I believe the decoupling has already begun to ensue and it'll take a number of years for it to really start to show its face to us. Um, 
but I think that not only just because of what the charts are showing, but also um, just where the world sits as a society and technology, just the way everything has really been uh, transpiring over the last three to four years. But I think we're likely seeing right here a bull trap to a degree. We'll see this in pattern play out towards around 12 to 11,000 or so. And um, inverse correlation to Bitcoin. So the stock market will likely start to make its lows when Bitcoins are making highs, vice versa to what it has been doing and lining up with highs to lows approximately since now. Oh, but there actually was, I forgot to go over something here for Bitcoin. It's on one of these daily charts, I believe. I'll find it eventually. As I say in my videos, I've got a lot of charts up on here. So here again on this daily chart, with respect to this ascending range, we come down to test 21.5 thousand, which lines up with this major resistance line, which will flip into support at some point. This entire bear market, we're coming down, we're meeting the halfway range right here around 51.8, which I would see as a very good thing. Um, even if we, at our current lows, we're still technically forming a hidden bullish divergence. Um, even if we come down to meet this 21.5, 21.6 thousand, we would still be forming a hidden bullish divergence, especially if the RSI continues to go even lower. So I think that would de it's definitely a good thing to be seeing in the type of price pattern movement that Bitcoin's been seeing recently with this kind of just slow wavering up price action. Um, we're also getting, I forget what time frame it's on. Um, I think it was somewhere on a four hour chart, but we are getting, let's see here. We're getting, oh, I'm just going to go ahead and say it without trying to find it. We're getting a uh, hidden bullish divergence after seeing a bearish divergence. And typically when you see that, it's just going to continue to slowly move up towards the upside. And I believe, especially because we're in a bear market, or my bad, we've been in a bear market and we're likely seeing a very strong reversal right now, um, that it's, uh, it's not necessary for it to see a major correction because, I mean, if we are entering the next bull market, uh, things are going to take off very rapidly. Um, but I'm going to go quickly over this five minute chart here because I forgot to, forgot about this before I went to the stock market. So what we can see here is when we got this most recent rejection from this, essentially, once we broke above this 800 EMA right here, hit this upper range of this slight, this ascending range we've been seeing ever since we hit all the way back here. You can see it's kind of essential we've been bumping our head on again with this black trend line right here. So once we lost this 800 EMA, continued to straddle around it, finally got rejected from it majorly. Then we finally started to print some pink vector candles, which are related to the RSI and starting to signify when lows are being set in. So you can see we got them right here. We've been getting on this five minute chart and even going a little bit higher to the 15 and the hourly, I believe, some bullish divergence, although I would just kind of consider it subtle at this point. We've also got two more sets of vector, pink vector candles right here as well. Price right there was essentially flat. So we're seeing, we're again, seeing a subtle bullish divergence. We've started to see these pink vectors print for quite a period of time, setting lows. Typically that's how you want to see it happen. Multiple lows will be set in a carried, carried out range over a period of time, and then it'll finally start to move towards the upside, which again, all that is lining up with this general range we've been finding support in. But to go ahead, jump into the altcoins here for XYO. Again, ever since we broke out of this symmetrical triangle, it's literally just been trading sideways along this 800 EMA. Obviously, it's just waiting on Bitcoin to finally start to make a decision and begin to go up with some more strength. Um, again, if we go any lower, I don't think it's going to go any lower than around 0 0.0046, so approximately half a penny at this point. It also lines up roughly with this trend line with respect to the slope we saw after we broke out of it and then came back down and essentially tested this A to C trend line right here, which is just a, what this black one is essentially a continuation of so. But right now, we've been bumping our heads on for XYO at highest around 0 0.0068. So right now, seeing XYO start to put strength move back above 0 0.007, um, it'll likely start to be a confirmation that XYO is going to move back up into the half a penny to two and a half penny range like I've been mentioning. Bitcoin may or may not start to move up drastically for in order for XYO to do that. Um, if we take a look again, there's an update on this 
x, y to Bitcoin chart, instead of on here seeing a symmetrical triangle, we've been seeing this falling triangle, or this falling wedge, if you want to call it. So again, seeing sideways movement, bumping our heads along a specific moving average. It's essentially the same idea here. Um, here for an update on Phantom. Phantom seen, has seen some uh, rather nice movement. Um, contrary to most of the market recently, I guess outside of Bitcoin seeing a movement it did, but we've come down, seen a nice um, retracement towards the downside. We're meeting this 800 EMA. Again, I likely believe we'll just continue to generally consolidate on this area until we head up to the next area. So no lower than this point, then around 45 cents, I would have to say for Phantom. Here moving in for Jasmine. This one also like Bitcoin did recently. We got a movement towards the upside. This one is actually up pretty nicely in the last few days, 55%. Um, we got a bounce relatively along with this trend line range right here off this 200 estimating moving average. Right now we could likely see the price come back down to that area, so around half a penny or so. Again, I don't think any lower than around 0 0.036 at this point for Jasmine all things considered, especially looking back at Bitcoin and where it seems to stand. Um, again, just to reiterate, around 0 0.008 to a little bit above a penny, 0 0.01213 is probably the next range that it's going to head into for um, a next milestone, which for, for Bitcoin, if comparing it to Bitcoin is what would line up at 28 to 32, if maybe seeing some likes of 34,000, just depending on upon how things go. Similar idea here for Theta. We're kind of just after seeing this market, crypto market, seeing this relief rally, this move up, this most major move we've seen in about a year. Well, yeah, about a year at this point, roughly. We're just slowly kind of just wavering up. Now we're kind of going sideways. Whether or not we see another substantial drop for Theta, maybe we even come back down to this box right here around 88 to 95 cents. I wouldn't expect it to go any lower than that unless Bitcoin tanks on us again or we get that bear trap down to the lows once more, which would just line up with around 70 cents for Theta. Um, but according to the way I see things, the next move for Theta could be very monumentous, very essentially just straight up as you can see. Obviously it's not going to follow through exactly as I've been mentioning. It's The upcoming bull market is just going to be highly self-similar to the previous bull market from March of 2020 to the high of 64,000. It's not going to be exactly the same, but it'll be very self-similar. Again, that's just with respect to fractal patterns and just the fractality of nature in general. Right here for Trias, this is, and now we're seeing, starting to see some bearish divergence after testing this highest area, slightly breaking above it. So we'll likely see some sort of retracement if I had to guess. Don't have to, but likely we'll, we will see. If I had to guess, movement down to maybe around $1.90. Worst case scenario, around $1.54 or so until it finally begins to go up to its next milestone range. I don't have, there's not enough price data for Trias for me to really um, try to figure out where it could be going in terms of how I've been going over other coins with the fractal patterns and whatnot. But right now things are looking good. Again, maybe $1.90, lowest $1.56, $1.54 or so if Trias continues to go down even lower at this point. Here for Dogecoin, this one's also seen a nice move recently. Still following along very nicely with the fractal patterns. You can see since we hit this bottom, staggered up, got our consolidation in line with the fractal pattern, got a quick move towards the upside. So far we've just been lingering downwards. Now we should likely be in this area with respect to these two fractal patterns right here. So depending upon whether or not we break out above around 10 to 11 cents approximately, around February of this year or more towards April of this year. Again, like I've been mentioning, not sure if Dogecoin will end up topping out either more towards eight months into this year or more towards the end of this year. Again, I still think $28 at the highest, if lower, 10 to $12, if lower, around, uh, I mean, always bank on a dollar, so around to probably a dollar to $3. Again, being one of the better movers in the market. Um, but that was about really all that I wanted to go over here for the updates. Just wanted to quickly touch on them and go over, again, just reiterate what we could likely see here for Bitcoin um, throughout this next month, whether or not we see that bear trap um, or a retracement down to it, worst case scenario, some quick and fast wicks to 19,000, 
um, or we continue to actually find support right here and continue up higher towards that 28 to $34,000 range approximately. Um, but all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you're able to learn something, take something away from that. Um, but I hope you all have a blessed day. Ooh,